Hey guys, Zangus, and I'm going to talk to you about changing your Windows 7 operating system so it can make it look like an Alienware theme. So the reason I'm actually not recording this on a digital screen recorder and actually filming it is mainly because my screen recorder won't actually pick up the main interface which is the theme so just for a couple of seconds I'll be showing you what you can actually get when you install the themes so now I'm just going to go onto the actual screen recorder and show you how to actually get the themes of course to do this you also need rain meter okay so what you do first is go into the first link that will show and this will be the rain meter theme and this will enable you for the main interface and then I'll show you the next theme as well but for the meanwhile once you download it you'll get this file and then that will show you multiple files and you want to go on to that one and then from there it will send you a link straight into the rain meter and then once you do that you double click on it and then it will install it and it will go straight into rain meter and then once you open that you can go into the settings and go on skins and it will come up with a load of different options now to make it easy you can go and launcher and then go on the resolution and that will come up with multiple different options but you can also have a play around with it because you can go on blue vision and then you can do loads and loads of different cool things like network download and you can click on that and you can get loads and loads of different icons and stuff like that okay so once you've got that you can then go on to the second link and I'll also put this link on my website as well because there's a chance that the link will go down so once you do that this is the main theme and it will allow you to do things like change your boot screen as well so once you install it it will change your boot screen and it will do loads of other stuff as well like changing the taskbar as well and changing the main UI for documents and even programs like Microsoft Word so now I'm actually going to show you how to actually uninstall it. I've usually found that when I've done software tutorials that a lot of people have asked how to uninstall it. So I'm going to do it straight in this video as well. And then what you do is go straight to control panel and you want to go onto Alienware skin pack and then you want to untick all of them and then go on uninstall. And it'll ask if you want to change it for the boot screen as well. If you want the boot screen to be Windows 7 then you click yes. But if you want to still have the Alienware boot screen then you can just click no and it'll keep that for you. And also if you want to stop the other graphics as well, you want to stop running Rain Meter. So hopefully that's a really simple tutorial and hopefully you found this video useful. And if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching. Hey guys, Zangus and I'm going to give you an unboxing of the Tesco Huddle 2. So straight on the packaging, it's actually got a really nice design as it's a low budget tablet produced from Tesco. If we look on the side on the back, we've got simple packaging.